Hi, everybody. Hello. How are you all? <laughs> We're going to make this quick video for to you today because Rob and I haven't made a video together in ages. Five Oh, five minutes. We made a video in our private group a minute ago, but we wanted to make a video for you today because today is a very special day. We woke up feeling very thankful as yesterday was Thanksgiving and we spent it with our family and friends here in Butte, Montana, the center of Montana, and spent the night in this beautiful hotel. And we just wanted to come on and say we're thankful for all of our friends online as well as in our business and the special sale we have today well we're we're grateful for yeah, our friends and our family and our business and the wonderful opportunities that lavelle has provided us mm -hmm. um also the great products and the portability of the products i mean we basically had breakfast in our hotel room consisting of drive shake um we don't have to go to the nasty hotel breakfast we don't have to worry about nutrition while we're on the road um, and yeah woke up to the great Black Friday special buy two get one free um, for those of you don't, who don't know I'm a physician assistant I practice functional medicine and and is my husband I have thousands of new followers since I've been speaking out about the truth and uh, hey guys. <laughs> for myself um, you know you think about what are you gonna give people for Christmas I've always uh, been interested in the gift of health and I try to give that in lots of different ways um, and I found Thrive is a really effective way to give people a healthy gift for Christmas and what better way than to buy the, the buy two get one free special right now and either introduce people to Thrive or just uh, for people you love give them some good quality uh, health conscious products for Christmas they don't need another pair of socks they don't need a tie they don't need whatever it is you know gadgets uh, but if you give them something that's gonna improve their health that's a great gift that just keeps on giving. Yep. So we thought it would be appropriate to go live from our hotel room first thing in the morning. And if, since we're now in the Christmas official Christmas season, I even am wearing my new Christmas jammies, which Rob said, oh, those are so, what'd you say? They scream me. They scream you. They scream me. <laughs> Because they have hearts and they're pink and they're soft and they're really soft um, Anyway, I, I was hoping that we would be able to come on and share Some information with you all because many of you are following Me specifically because of my health journey and the issues I've had with mold How many of you found me because of that? How many of you found me because I speak out on our medical freedom rights, the, our patriotism, the Constitution, and uh, the scam behind the pandemic. <laughs> some have found me through that. And then some of you have found me through our business, which is called Lavelle and the Thrive Experience. These are our new products. And uh, interestingly, this, um, so for those of you who know me, you know, I have had a really hard uh, two years with my health and there was a time that I did not take the Thrive Experience three core products because my body was in such a del delicate place that I couldn't handle the energy that I would get from taking the Thrive Experience. And so I took other products. I loved our greens drink especially because greens helps with alkalinity in the body. And when you're killing a lot of pathogens, like I was from mold and parasites, I would get too acidic and then I would feel too sick from that. So taking alkaline products really helps with that. And that is why the greens drink is so good for people that are struggling with some type of chronic illness. Yeah, I think a lot of people forget that we have um, a lot of great products, a pretty deep catalog mm -hmm. that's growing all the time. Yep. This is our new one that Elise well, mentioned. This is something that we've been taking every day before right. uh, Thrive came out with their own product is electrolytes. But I have to say, on that note, mm -hmm. I, I wanted to interject this. With this chronic illness I had with mold, mold uh, increases your ADH hormone, which is your antidiuretic hormone. It makes you pee a lot. And then what happens is you become um, mineral deficient as well as uh, chronically dehydrated. So for me, one of my go-to things was to drink um, trace minerals in water and to make a coconut water or add electrolytes to my water. And I drink it every day, all day long. 
and then this product came out and it was as if we designed it because it is a coconut water based easy to take with you add it to a bottle of water you've got your electrolytes and it really helps with hydration it's called thirst yeah, most people don't realize it, but they're walking around dehydrated. Mm -hmm. uh, if your skin is dry, if your lips are dry and cracked, if you're using lotion and uh, chapstick and stuff all the time, mm. or even if you just feel dry eyes and you feel, you know, sometimes fatigue it can be one of the biggest signs that you're dehydrated uh, for no other reason. Um, most people are dehydrated, and so adding electrolytes to your water, yep. basically salts and trace minerals, they help you absorb and retain a lot more of that water than if you just drink water mm -hmm. alone. You'll notice that if you drink electrolyte-rich water, you won't pee. You'll, yeah. you'll maintain that water, whereas if you just have a big glass of water, half hour later you have to go to the bathroom. Well, remember when you used to be a coffee drinker? When he was in surgery and he would drink coffee before, what mm. would happen? <laughs> I'd be crossing my legs during surgery. <laughs> he, he would have to go to the bathroom so much, pee so much, because um, some coffee we is drink. it's not a diuretic like people think but what it yeah. is is a smooth irritant. muscle irritant and so it, it irritates the smooth muscle of your bladder it makes you feel like you have to mm. go urgently pee all the time that was one thing i noticed with thrive is we didn't have to do that all yeah time. but funny see this is where my facebook following has gone we talk about all of these things <laughs> from mold to parasites to peeing to pooping we got this <laughs> Rob can't believe that I've gotten gotten so open because I used to I just kept this illness to myself for so long um, but now I feel like speaking out about it could help people has it ever helped any of you watching I hope so <laughs> I hope so because I, I used to struggle with why me and why did I get so sick and it I just got this feeling from God that it was because I needed to speak out and share the story because 25% of the population has the genetic defect that I have. It's called HLA-DR. It means that your body does not clear biotoxins like other people do. And so if you get spider bites, insect bites, exposure to mold, parasites living in the body, you build up the toxins versus it clearing them out. You don't, um, your body doesn't develop antibodies to them to clear them out. So my husband living in the same house and being exposed to many similar things in our lifestyle was not sick at all where I was really sick. Like how, what am I now today versus a year ago? Mm, like a thousand percent better. In fact, you guys, last November, since we're going there and talking personal, last November he came to visit me because I moved down to the desert to live in a different home. Um, he came to visit me for Thanksgiving. It was my sister, her daughter, Rob, and I, and we had a great day. But it was the first day that my uh, infectious disease doctor started me on albendazole, which is a medication, you all, this is insane. Um, you buy this medication over the counter in Mexico in other countries one dollar per pill My doctor said I don't know if we can find this medication here because they're repurposing it for cancer. It's a parasite med and She finally found it guess how much 20 pills was in the US. This is criminal five thousand dollars five thousand dollars and my friend got it for me in Mexico for one dollar per pill Anyway, that was day three of me taking that medication. I was having a great day, but then all of the night, Thanksgiving last year, I was throwing up and throwing up and throwing up. I was so sick, I couldn't even get up off of the floor. Remember that? I do. It was horrible. He was like, you slept in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so sick. So last night, I really did wake up. I mean, I felt incredible last night. We slept in this really nice bed at this hotel what's up Casey and oh my gosh I feel so much better today I mean Casey our friend Casey's here too he's had a health his health struggles as well Casey I totally have prayed for you this past year too I just feel like crying because I'm so grateful for how much better I'm feeling today versus a year ago like literally couldn't get off the bathroom floor because I threw up too much <laughs> like from taking medication yeah what a difference ah. a year makes <laughs> and I think that part of this journey is learning how resilient our bodies are and the fact that our bodies are um how do you say designed to heal mm -hmm. and designed to be healthy god gave us an immune system 
and but you got to put the right things in them too well i was gonna say put the right things in but also keep the wrong things out yeah so as much or more important what yeah what what do you think about that well you your yeah your body's a self-healing organism and it mm -hmm. just needs the right raw materials to build things and to uh <laughs> get rid of things <laughs> as well so um, I mean, nutrition is so key. So, mm -hmm. I mean, anybody who I talk to and coach on their health, um, mm -hmm. you know, it all starts with nutrition. It's all foundational around nutrition. If you're yeah. not eating the right things, then you're basically hamstringing yourself. And yeah, all the rest of the things that you do, if you're into these expensive biohacks or supplements and all this stuff, yeah. like if you don't have the core nutrition uh, dialed, then none of that stuff's really going to make much of a difference, if at all. Well, and when you're ex if you're living in toxins, right? Like then that really can mess you up. And it doesn't well, and matter. We are in this society, I mean, we're surrounded by toxins. We're, right. we're indoors almost all the time. Yes. You know, uh, inhaling polluted indoor air. Yes. We have all these, uh, you know, our furniture, our devices, all the stuff kicking off things that toxins. aren't really good for our health. And I know. Uh, then you go outside, and if we're living in a city, then mm -hmm. the air's not much better. You know, there's toxins all around right. us. We're in the most toxic environment as humans we've ever had to face. Mm -hmm. and, and it's so, hard on us. Yeah, yeah a so. Lot of the, a lot of the stuff, as Casey mentioned, deodorants, toothpaste, cleaning. Um, there's actually this uh, website called ewg.org, mm -hmm. environmentalworkinggroup.org, and they have a list, uh, several lists of products that are good and bad um, mm -hmm. in terms of having lots of contaminants. I mean, you can literally, um, you can kill your hormones, you can. Um, you know, re wreak havoc basically on all sorts of body systems by putting these toxins in, and you don't even know because why would you? Right, your toothpaste—it's yeah, it's recommended right. by the ADA. It's, it's, it's sold safe. in the store. <laughs> yeah. So it's really up to us in uh, this day and age to do um, you know our own due diligence. Mm -hmm. We're our only healthcare advocates. Yeah. You go to the doctor. The doctor is going to say, "Oh, you have this. Here's a pill." Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's, it's that's so unacceptable. frustrating. You need to be willing to do the research. Yeah. And doctors have a place, and uh, you know, they're great for acute issues, yeah. things that are happening to you right now, and you need you know acute care. But it's the the chronic stuff that we all need to be responsible for and to take our own initiative on. Well, and how many of you watching have had um, little, like little health symptoms, nagging things, you know, like maybe you get chronic cold sores, maybe you have chronic issue with your neck, maybe you have um, digestive upset and heartburn, and, mm -hmm. it, and brain it's, fog, energy levels. I mean, and it's something that you just kind of live with, and you keep taking maybe just a little medication here and there to feel better. And then the problem is that it just kind of, it's kind of like chipping away at the iceberg, I say, where you get a little bit weaker and weaker over time. And I know for me, one of my linchpin problems, and um, you all pay attention if you have any friend that's complaining of headaches and pain and all of this problem, because for me, it was I stupidly got breast implants, so therefore leaching chemicals around the clock and then we moved suppressing into, your immune system yes and then we moved into a house that had a very slow leak in a wall and so we had mold growing and I just got sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker like it I can look back over the past four years and the three years prior to this past year I uh, was just on this trajectory of it was really bad and I was really at walking the thin line of health and I was doing all of the things like eating healthy, using non-toxic, you know, taking my my supplements and nutrients and always the healthiest eater. And if I would travel, I would it would make me sick for two weeks after because I was walking that thin line. So if you know anyone that has uh, implants, that's a big one. Um, also, if you know anyone dealing with chronic headaches and, and aching joints, they call it fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome, that could be they have mold in their home or they have had mold in their home. And then the other issue is that leads to all, a whole host of other problems because you get immune suppression, so then you become susceptible to gut dysbiosis and other bacteria taking a foothold in the gut, candida overgrowth in the gut, parasites growing in the gut, liver problems because everything gets reconcentrated into the liver from the hepatic portal vein, 
I mean, they're like. <clears throat> it's not all doom and gloom, though. There it's are, not, but there are. You have to pay good attention. There's news in that there are a lot of tests, and that's why I decided to switch my yes. focus and go into functional yes, medicine yes. because that's what we look for in functional medicine is what's root the cause. underlying root cause of the illness. Mm -hmm. And so instead of <laughs> name it, claim it, shame it, you know, throw a, uh, a, med, at it. a med at it like you do in traditional medicine, yeah. we actually dig deeper, look at genetics and look at hormones and look at all these different body processes mm -hmm. and see what's failing you and you know where we um, can correct things instead of just throwing a pharmaceutical at it we look for the underlying cause and we right. correct it at the root well and I had a lot of trouble with anxiety and I by chance because I was treating mold I would take binders and binders bind to the toxins in the gut so that your hepatic portal vein doesn't take it back into the liver and you concentrate these toxins which then you have endotoxin which leaves the gut and affects the brain um, causing lots of inflammation too well what I learned was I would start to feel anxiety I'd take a binder and I'd feel better and so then I was like wait a minute is there a connection between the toxins circulating in my body and the way that I feel and so I started to research more into that. And I learned that when you're chronically exposed to toxins, your body is under stress and you feel anxiety as a result, not only of the toxins, uh, chemicals flooding your brain and, and washing your brain in this toxic soup, but because your body is under duress and stress and is actually trying to take care of itself, preserve life, you do feel anxiety and stress because you're, under attack basically and so I, I did find a study that supported that actually and I wish I could remember it might be on the Great Plains lab blog so if you guys are familiar or know people that deal with these chronic issues the Great Plains lab blog has incredible blogs by their PhD founder who also used to work in a hospital and he did a lot of studies on autism and the connection with candida and parasites and the vaccines and how it sends the gut into dysbiosis anyway this is we've got many topics we could cover but and it's um, mm -hmm. Also, it's one of the testing labs that I use yes. for functional medicine tests. They're a great, um, great lab, great company. They do have a lot of free information, mm -hmm. um, but that's also one of the best places to buy these functional medicine tests. Oh, it's incredible. That, that was actually after going to 26 different doctors that we did a test with Great Plains Lab. It's called the Mycotoxin Urine Test, and that is where I discovered that I had mold illness and had um, also... My so my levels of the mold illness, the mycotoxin is the poison the mold creates. Um, when I took that test, my level was a little bit off, but it wasn't off the charts. So we were like, well, this is strange. But then we started learning about the HLA-DR gene and the fact that 25% uh, of the population has this gene. And the reason that my levels weren't off the charts on that mycotoxin urine test was because my body wasn't detoxing. So the mycotoxin was building up in my body. And so I had to actively detox. I had to take glutathione, go in infrared sauna, um, do lymphatic exercise. drainage massage, <laughs> exercising, jumping on a rebounder. Um, that moved the toxins so that when I took the, the next test, then the mycotoxins were off the charts because that I had actively promoted moving those toxins around. Well, you release them from the tissues they're stored in and then mm -hmm. they circulate in your blood, which makes it to your urine, and then they show up in the test and all of a sudden, boom, test levels go way up. Way up, yep. Crystal, that's called the mycotoxin urine test. I think you emailed Rob. He's going to get with you on that. Um, anyway, if anyone wants to reach out to Rob, you have questions, you can co either comment or email him, which is robleininger at gmail.com. Oh, good, Mahalani. I hope you provoked the test. It's called provoking the test when you take... Did she? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> All right. Anything else to share? Uh, no, just um, everybody be safe out there. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in the world. Remember to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. take care of your friends and your family, be healthy, and have a great holiday season. We'll see you again, hopefully soon. Well, also, last note, empower yourself. You are your own best doctor. You have to be educated. You have to advocate for what you need. And if any of you want to join my new group, it's called Beyond the Veil. I wasn't even going to come on here and share that on this Facebook 
uh, live, but it kind of seems appropriate right now. Basically, where I can share the truth that I've discovered about <clears throat> the current state of affairs, your health and wellness, and the treatments and protocols that I have discovered work for treating certain things, which will remain unnamed so I do not get flagged <laughs> by the fake book AI. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watch it to the end, please type end. If you share it, please type replay. And if you're new here, please let me know that you're new so we can say hi to you. Okay, welcome to our community. Bye, we love you guys. Bye-bye.